hello. Today we're going to take a look at searching in Google. So, um, so the first thing we notice about Google is this uh, bar up at the top. So we have search, images, maps, play, YouTube, news, Gmail, documents, calendar, and more. Um, and more actually is just an extension of the um, bar which lets you get to even more types of searches. Okay, so each one of these is either a Google service or a search. Okay, so the first one is search. This is just the standard Google search. So what people might not realize is that the um, the uh, the terms that you enter and the order that you enter them affect your search results. Uh, so let's say that I wanted to search on uh, the first World Series. Notice that Google actually tries to complete and search as you're typing. So. Okay, first World Series. Okay, so uh, notice that it gives me some pretty good results. Um, first World Series. Uh, notice that you can, um, it gives you the URL here. Okay, um, now let's say that I want to search, um, uh, let's say that I want to search, what if I hadn't put these in order? What if I would not have put these in order? So I uh, put World Series first. Okay, so now you can see that if I were to, um, oh, it did actually give me the first, <laughs> the same thing. Uh, okay, let's say that I search on 1903, so that's the first World Series. Notice that the first uh, search result is actually different. Okay, now an interesting thing about these search results is you can get a preview of them. So if I go ahead and click this button that appears on the left, notice where I can just hover over it, um, I can actually get a preview of these websites. So I can look and make sure that I can actually get to them. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about searching. A, let's say that we want to put our terms together. Okay, so I want to search on Bob Smith. And I want to see uh, Bob Smith, an inventor. Okay. Um, so notice that I get um, a lot of different results. Okay. So I get Bob Smith and then inventor. And then I get Bob Smith, comma, inventor. Let's say that I wanted to search for exactly the phrase inventor. Okay, so I want exactly the phrase, this phrase. Okay, I want inventor Bob Smith. Okay, and I want a comma in between it. And it's capitalized. Okay, so let's go ahead and search on that. So notice that now what I get is I get uh, search results that have those three words in order. It ignored my comma, but it has these three words in order. See, inventor Bob Smith, inventor Bob Smith. Notice it highlights um, those words exactly. So if you have an exact phrase, you should put that in quotation marks. Okay. Now Google search also has some interesting, um, has some interesting um, uh, built-in functionality. So one of those functionalities is if I want to know the word, um, run in Tagalog. Okay. Okay, so if I put translate run in Tagalog, okay, so it says translate run in Filipino. Okay, I'm not sure why they call it Filipino, but um, so Notice that when I put in that keyword translate in the very beginning, it gives me the initial translation right there. It gives me a, an answer to my question essentially. Okay, and there are a few of these keywords that are very interesting. So translate is a good one. Um, also, what I can do in this search is I can convert different units. So I can say 1,200 feet in miles. Okay, so this is another good one. So any kind of conversion that you need to do. 
uh, notice that it gives me 1,200 feet in miles. Okay, so it gives me that conversion right off the bat. Um, and there are quite a few of these other keywords that you can use in Google, so that's another way to use Google search. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other Google searches. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the advanced Google search. So over here on the right, uh, do you see this gear? We go ahead and click on that, and we sit on, We can uh, do search settings. Okay. Now this is a really important one for students. Okay. So it's best to keep your search filter on strict. Um, this is going to stop anything when you're searching, especially on images or on the web. Uh, you don't want to put in a search term and then get unexpected results that might not be school appropriate. So keeping your search filter on strict uh, is definitely helpful. Okay, instant predictions. That's when I'm typing in. Uh, when I'm typing in, if it, it automatically searches. If you have a slow web connection, you know, if you're on a 3G connection or on your cell connection, uh, you might not want it to search constantly as you type. So you can turn that off. Um, also, these um, these settings are only available when you've signed into Google. So if you have a Gmail account, uh, that's a Google account. So when you're signed into that, that's when these settings will actually save for you. Okay. Also, you can get results per page. You can have up to 100 results per page. Obviously, it takes a little longer to get those results back. Okay. Finally, personal results. This is where Google stores your your searches and gives you personal results. This is um, you know it stores some of your searches. It gives you um, advertisements based upon those searches, and you can have them store them or not. Um, okay. And then you can decide the links that you actually click on, do you want those in a new browser window? Um, that's actually kind of useful because it leaves your search intact in a separate um, tab. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go back to, uh, we can go back to search by clicking on the, the black bar at the top and then I can go, um, one odd thing about the search is that you actually have to make a search uh, prior to You have to actually make a search prior to doing this setup. So let's uh, say I search on Pizza Hut. Um, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do uh, an advanced search. Okay, so we have our advanced search here. Okay, now this is really useful if you want to exclude things. Um, so let's say that I want to do, uh, I want to search on football. Okay. I want to search on football. I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to search on football. And I don't want it to have American anywhere in the title or in the page uh, context. Okay. So I want to search ball, football. I don't want American anywhere in the title. Okay. So this I'm trying to get to some types of uh, basically for soccer. Obviously the word is football in other parts of the world. So I'm trying to get results that will give me football, right? Exact word or phrase. This is a substitute for those quotation marks that I showed you. Um, so basically, all of these words mean search results have to have all of these words in them. Let's have football goal. Uh, any of these words. So this is an or statement. You know, it can have this word or this word or this word. Um, none of these words. So that's any result with the word American will be uh, excluded from your search results. We can also set this for language region last updated. Last update is very useful actually. Um, a lot of times what will happen is you'll get old search results. So let's say that I want to see uh, um, the newest cell phones for this year. If I search on top cell phones, I might get a result from 2009. Well, the top cell phone in 2009 is not going to be the same one from this year. So so uh, doing the last update is very uh, reasonable. Okay, let's say I just want search results from like wikipedia.org. I could put that in site or domain. Okay. And then I can say where the terms appear. I can say if safe search is on or not. I'm putting this to strict. Um, and then we can have we have some other uh, um, options. Uh, usage rights. That's if the content is specifies usage rights. If you turn this on, it will get much. You'll get much fewer results because the people that made the page had to specify the the usage rights for you to um, you to get results for that. So let's click on advanced search. Okay, so we get um, we get a lot of football um, uh, results, and notice that it gives me the the um, 
the search using the Google search kind of language. Notice that the minus sign American gives me the, is that's what's saying don't include result, results that say American in them. Okay, so let me scroll down. And I was fairly successful here. I got, I got um, basically the first news item is for non-American football. That's soccer, right? Um, so that is a way that we can use the advanced search for Google. Okay, let's go ahead over to, now there are certain specific format search, so uh, we have images, we can search on images, notice that if I click on images it maintains that same search, so I can put, um, and notice that I was successful, football, goal, and minus American, it knows that I'm searching for soccer, so I get a lot of results um, for football, I got one there that was not, okay, but mostly they, um, they return results for soccer or football anywhere else. Um, I can also search on maps, okay, so maps is another great way to search, so if I'm searching for something in town and I want to search for, let's say that I actually want to search for, uh, uh, let's say I want to find a soccer field, now of course in the U.S. it's going to be soccer field, okay, and I click search, notice that it's going to give me a result, um, amazingly close to where I actually am. Uh, so this is my nearest soccer field here. And I can zoom on out. Okay, so that's a map search. Gives me results right on the map. Uh, and of course I can do our street view. Okay, so I can do a map search. And I can zoom on in here. And let's say that I want to take, what, well, what does that look like when I actually go there? I can drop uh, the little man. Um, right onto the, the map result there, okay? Uh, I can also go to Play as their, their, their Android app. Um, okay, notice I have to click down here, uh, and it's going to give me a, a street view of that area in just a second. Okay, we're not going to wait for it, though. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so that's searching for the map. You can also do a play. You can search in YouTube, which I won't do now. News is a is a great one. Okay, so we can go football minus American, and I can search on that. Okay, it might get better in my case if. Uh, Actually, search on search on soccer. Okay, and I get news results uh, for soccer. Okay. Okay, and these are basically uh, just news stories. Okay, so if you're doing research, this is a great tool. So this is the news search. Okay, and then we have Gmail, Documents, Calendar, and then we go to more. Okay, I can also search on books. Okay, we have well, let's say translate. Let's say I want to translate the word soccer from English to uh, to Spanish. Okay, so I have English. Let's say I want to go to Spanish. Sorry, English, and then two. And then I say I want to go to Spanish. So I have English here, Spanish there. Okay, very useful. Click on more again, and we go to books. And these are open, basically this is a book project from Google where it has a uh, um, books that are licensed uh, in the public domain. It also has books for sale that you can search inside. Okay, we're not going to go ahead and wait for that now, but just know that you can search for books. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it comes up with, uh, and these are all books about soccer. Okay, some of these uh, you can add to your library. Some they're just for purchase. Notice we say limited preview, limited preview. That means this book is, uh, is available for purchase. Okay, we also have uh, shopping is another one. That's if you're shopping for actual products. Let's say we want to go to shopping. This is going to go to uh, product searches for you to buy things on. Okay, so that is, um, and then we also have photos and videos down here as well. Okay, so that is an overview of searching in Google. Um, I hope it was useful. Good luck.